Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Got a pretty damn difficult challenge run for us today. If you remember, we defeated the last run without going to the item room. This time, I'm gonna try to do it without getting any items whatsoever. So nothing from the item room. No, like, spacebar items or passive permanent upgrades from the shop. I'm gonna try to do it with Judas because he already starts with the Book of Belial, so I think that's gonna make it possible. As for, uh, other administrative notes here, uh, bombs and keys, totally okay. Pills, totally okay. Tarot cards, totally fine. Everything else, no. So sadly, I cannot pick up that relic. And how useful it would be. I think this is gonna be tricky. Uh, the only way I can really see myself beating this is if I pick up a ton of spirit hearts and manage to actually save them. So I'm gonna have to be like an expert dodger here. Or if maybe I get really lucky and uh, just run across a great selection of pills. Remember, like, I can't take the PhD, so I'm just gonna have to rely on using the pill and then identifying it. All in all, it would not surprise me if this video, you know, I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be about 40 minutes long. I wouldn't be surprised if it ended up containing like five or six lives, but, you know, you can't always get lucky on the first try. We will use the moon here. For, oh, I can't pick up Bob's Rotten Head, sadly. I was hoping that there would be some money in there. We'll hold on to our Emperor card, because we'll probably use that against the boss. Hey, this is a good room for me. Because I can take these guys out one by one. Oh god, two by two is what I meant to say there. I apologize. This guy dead. Again, please, uh... I know more people tend to watch the beginnings of the video than the ends of the video, so if you're watching this right now and you got a good idea for a challenge run, Please let me know in the comments. I read most of them. I can't read all of them because there's only so much time in a day, but uh, I do read most of them. And that's actually where a lot of these ideas have come from so far. I apologize if I haven't credited you. I'm not really sorry. But in this case, we got blue Gemini. Oh, I thought I used... I hit the space bar to use Book of Belial, but I thought I used Q to use the unicorn horn. Fuck. All right, well, here we go. Starting our second life. That was just a disaster. A mistake on my part, but it shows how easily things can change from okay to terrible. Because I hadn't taken damage on the floor before that point. It's a shame, the Emperor is a good card, too. It's all because I was I was talking about the lack of apology that I felt. Or the lack of remorse that I felt. For stealing people's ideas and crediting them as my own. I've learned the error of my ways. No, I haven't! Let's so we'll take down these Gushers here, Cytherias. And nothing there. Would love to go to that chest, but sadly I have no bombs, so I'm gonna have to be contented to not be chesty right now. Now, I don't think this is worth using my, uh, Book of Belial on. Oh lord! Ah, oh, come on! Pride, that was a dick move, buddy. Alright, here we go. Starting to think that this might be fucking impossible. Let's make sure that we're shooting all this poop, because that's the only way we can pick up a bomb right now, and that is absolutely essential to my progress here. Single bomb took me out. I really need to get some spirit hearts right off the bat. God, what am I missing out on here? Shears! Fantastic item to take from your first shop. We have here, two of these shooters. Shouldn't be too, too bad. Bomb? Pill? Okay, let's use it. Oh no. Oh, come on. This is getting to be a goddamn disgrace. Okay, this is this is it for real now. We've already seen three lives in only four minutes. Let's head down this way. Play it cool. How does Fonzie play it? He's cool. Hanged man, which means I can get to this chest, which hopefully contains a bomb, which I can then go and use on this tinted rock. Okay, there you go. That actually worked out really well, and now I can take more than one hit before falling to my death. This is almost a Book of Belial-worthy room here, but I want to see what we get from this, uh... Ah, only half a heart. If I only half a heart. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Murder these guys. Jenna Hayes is up in here. Okay. And another full heart I can't use. Again, bombs or keys would be really welcome right now. Yeah, there's another tinted rock. Could this be the run where it's actually fucking possible to get past the first part of the basement? You know, I can't pick that up. That's increased damage. I almost walked into it by accident. That would have been catastrophic. Still, at least I got the spirit heart out of it. And more bombs, of course. Now, the reason I want keys is not so I can go to the item room. But it's so I can go to the shop and potentially pick up spirit hearts. And bombs and keys, I suppose. There's a key. I don't want to use any money to get to that. Uh, because I'd rather save my money for now. 
And you never know, these bombs are pretty valuable because it's pretty much the only way I can gain health at this point. Unless I get incredibly lucky with pills. Another sense. Okay, we got enough to buy a spirit heart from the shop. Potentially. And we got two keys, so let's head down to the shop. Maybe I'll be able to, I'll be able to buy something on the cheap. I'll buy something on the cheap. There's a spirit heart for five cents. Look at that! Amazing! How quickly things can turn around. From three of the worst runs I've ever had in my entire life to actually having four hearts here on the first floor and maybe making it possible for me to get down to the next level. Alright, we got Famine, Cuba Meat, not sad to be missing out on that one. I wonder how long, like with Judas... Oh! That was stupid. After I get the Book of Belial, things are okay because I can uh, do a hefty amount of damage all at once. But before, like, when the Book of Belial is recharging, I don't do very much damage right off the top. So, I wonder how long I can last just doing base damage for so many rooms. I'm going to have to use my Book of Belial extremely frequently. Alright, let's... If I had more keys, I would love to go to the item room just to see what was in there, but, uh... That wouldn't be prudent right now, so we're not going to do that. If I had more bombs, I would love to use a bomb to take out this guy rather than wasting 20 minutes. Or 20 seconds. Well, not even. That was like 4 seconds, but still. You get my drift. Let's come down here, slot machine. Let's blow it up if you get something good out of that. Another bomb and a scent, okay. Who dares win so far? Doing okay on health. The only damage I took was from me stupidly walking into famine. Okay, I'll get a couple of gish. Again, if you just get them. Oh, oh, such a dumb set of damage right there. Come on. If you just get them head on, they're not a problem. Apply directly to four. Okay, there we go. Two more cents. And another key. Almost enough money to make the shop worthwhile. Once we get to the caves, I'm going to start using my Book of Belial more frequently on non-boss rooms. Just because, like right now, I could run into the boss right away. More bombs, that's excellent. Might even take a gander to try to find the secret room. Whoa. Whoa. Murder. Gusher. Four different types of enemies in here. It's a veritable potpourri. It's a Gera Masala of enemies. Oh, good, good. Luckily, I'm still dealing in spirit hearts here, which is fine by me. Don't have many left, but I'm doing so-so, which is so far so good. So-so, so far, so-so, so good. Yet another bomb. I'm really thankful for the amount of bombs that I've been receiving so far. Otherwise, this would be fucking impossible. Could really use some more tinted rocks, though. This should be the secret room, by all accounts. Well... Never mind. Sometimes I like to talk out of my ass because it smells better than my breath. That was gross! Oh, we'll shoot these flies, and then... There's the boss. Oh, now there's... That was actually a bad layout for this, because now there's like two possible locations for the secret room. And I don't want to waste all my bombs to find them. Oh, there's a tinted rock right here. More spirit hearts, please. Dick move, game! Dick move. Thank God. More cents, please. Okay, that's a lot of money. Let's go down to the shop, and maybe it's unlikely that there's a tinted rock in there again, because I already got one, but maybe. Book of Revelations and a key. Well, we'll buy a key so that we can go to the shop on the next floor. And then we'll go fight our boss here. Still doing all right. Larry Jr. I was hoping for blue Larry Jr., because blue LJ always drops uh, a spirit heart. Sadly, that's just not in the cards right now, is it? Okay. Just gotta stay a little bit cautious here. I really can't afford to take any damage. Larry Jr.'s been halved. It's Black Friday. Larry Jr.'s half off, you get it? Because his, his body, is, I just severed it in half. Luckily, he's an analyst, so he can just grow another half or continue persisting with his existing half. Spirit Heart, excellent. Don't accidentally walk on the pentagram, even though it's probably your favorite item. Can't even make any deals with Satan. So we'll just head downward. Still doing alright here. I would love to just pick up like 50 bombs, because that would actually allow me the opportunity to do a lot of damage or skip rooms that I didn't want to deal with, which is just as important. You can see how these rooms are going to get to be a problem when you run into Ooze Guy's rooms with like 50 of them in it. This pill better be damn good. Bad gas. 
That's, that's bad. It says bad in the title. Is that what I asked for? This is what you get when you feed a stranger bad gas. Let's just try not to murder these guys when they're right next to me. That worked out really well. Another bomb. Another scent. And Envy. Let's use our uh, Book of Belial here. I think that's a, a good decision on our, on our part. Because... This guy can sometimes be a pain in the ass. Again, going back to like our first level strategy, our freshman strategy on Envy, which is take out the little guys as fast as possible, because you don't want a ton of shit filling up your screen. We're halfway through the fight now. Gotta get this guy down, and then split him again. Fuck. Terrible damage. Saw it coming, but still got caught up in the crossfire. A Milton Bradley product. Uh... These little guys still take two hits, which is mind-boggling to me. Live bomb. Fantastic. Glad I went through the fight there. Hmm. We have here a chest that I don't want to waste a key to get to, because I need that key to go to the shop. A fly that just did damage to me. I really can't afford for that to happen too much more. Or I'm going to be in trouble here. I have a feeling this is like the blooper episode of the Binding of Isaac Let's Play. Watch how Northern Lion thinks he's actually going to succeed and ends up falling flat on his ass. Filmed in front of a live studio audience. Rob Schneider is the stapler. Rated PG-13. Oh, another live bomb. Didn't even have the courtesy to show me where the secret room is. There's the boss room. But without any keys can't use these golden chests, which again is a shame because these could possibly, well, give me more bombs, but I have to use a bomb and a key to get to them. It's a hassle, let's put it that way. Okay, this is, I don't like this gish setup right now. Please get in a row, oh my god, you did. Thank you for getting in an easy to follow row so that I could take you out more effectively. Your call is very important to us, gish. Now if you could just bend over. And let me insert my penis into your butthole. What am I even talking about anymore? Who knows? I'm gonna save the Book of Belial because I think we might have to fight Greed in here. Nope. We got Guardian Angel, that's a great item. Would have been fantastic as Demon Baby. Let's buy this pill. Range down, fantastic. We will buy this bomb. Leave Bizarro Genius Baby in there. I suppose make our way over here. I might start busting open those golden chests. They're the one golden chest I can get to. Uh, can, can, don't don't hurt me. Not the mama. Yeah. Here we go. He shot that bullet out of his asshole. That dude just shit the bullet onto me. How am I supposed to deal with that shit? We weren't prepared for this in training. I'm using every skill I got here, but when these guys are farting bullets out of their shitters, it's kind of impossible. Just stay over there, get back. Get back, I'll pepper spray you like I work for UC Davis campus security. Oh, the nickel would be fantastic right now. Well, five bombs, let's go open one of these chests and hopefully get something that isn't a permanent item. First time I've ever said that. Are you fucking kidding me? How about this one? You gonna play me like that too? You're lucky. This shit almost got real there. Okay, we got a bomb and a key out of it. As well as three more cents. Let's rinse and repeat. No lathering needed on this. We get pretty much the same. A bomb and a key, or bomb and a... Sense, well, that was a net loss. What are we dealing with, dealing with here in terms of bosses? Alright, fistula. Not too much of a problem. But again, we're basically using the same strategy we used against Envy, except I'll get hit a little bit sooner, because that lures the fistula into a false sense of security. If you didn't know that, that's, that's some high-level fistula strategy. Alright, very nearly dead. There we go. Let's start up another life. Things were going so well there for so briefly. It's, uh, I guess we'll fight the boss right away here. And this pill, please, health up. Telepills uh, took me directly to the boss. <laughs> Fantastic. You saved me uh, 15 steps. Much appreciated. Alright, so we 
So we got a pretty set strategy for taking on Famine. This is a nice counterpoint to the last video, which actually had me succeeding against all odds. This one has me failing with all odds. And it's nice that the odds don't feel uh, isolated for once. I mean, last time they probably felt lonely. They're like, why is everyone against me? Now they don't have to feel like that. So we got a cube of meat. It's probably a good idea to fight the boss as soon as possible, just so I feel more comfortable using my uh, Book of Belial as fast as I can. Overall, I, I don't think we're going to see too much victory here. What did I die on last time? Was it the Caves Part 1 or cave, Caves Part 2? I think it was Caves Part 1. Well, fine by me. Oh, that could have killed me. Shouldn't have gotten that close. The problem right here at the beginning of the game is that you can't make any stupid mistakes because one bomb going off in your face means you're dead. But really, I can't think of any other character that would be better to use for a no extra items run. The only reason I picked Kane is because, like, one heart sucks dick, but the Book of Belial makes it possible to actually do damage. So, got any suggestions for this? I'm all eyes. Get it? Because I'm going to be reading the comments, not listening to them. I like the first floor because we can always murder these guys and then go see what we're missing from the item room. Oh, where are you going? Now here's the real question. I've gone through this entire floor. I only have one bomb. Do I save the bomb or do I use it to find the secret room? Potentially find something like a slot machine or a big nine cents, which is worthless to me. Well, what do we have here in the item room? Ouija board? Well, that's useless anyway. Let's go visit the secret room. Kind of knew that was going to happen, didn't I? There's a one-up, which I have no business picking up. So we'll head down to the next level with only the heart on our back and the hat on our head. And on the basement part two, hopefully we'll find the boss ASAP. Oh. So that we can... Uh, Use our Book of Belial more freely on the other room. Can make up your mind. Thank you. Shouldn't have stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with a guy like that. I got in trouble. Nearly. I gotta shoot these guys deliberately and very slowly so that I know what I'm doing. Ooh, let's buy a bomb for five cents. Those are gonna come in handy. Probably gonna go to the mob trap room. Yeah, let's use Book of Belial right away, so we're ready. Pick up another bomb. Okay, I consider that worth it already. Basement part two. Mob trap room shouldn't be too tough anyway. Grandfather fly is kind of a pain in the ass, though. You know, I've got this aura of genius baby stuck in my head. All right, go! Okay, yep. I, I understand your complaints, sir. We're working very hard. Oh, flashbacks to my telemarketing days. Oh, bomb for a key? Oh, bomb for a tinted rock? Don't mind if I do. Alright, we will use one bomb to get this key and then open this chest because why the hell not? Who knows what it might contain? It was really only for some spirit hearts. Well, more bombs, okay. And more money. So we didn't come out all behind on that. I do need to go to one more room before we fight the boss. Just better safe than sorry, you know? I want to make sure that my Book of Belial is completely recharged. And I might go to the secret room, but again, bombs are still kind of at a premium. Four is not so bad, but it's just the best I've ever had. Slot machine. Let's blow it up. Oh god, I thought I could put the bomb there and then shoot it. Two cents. That was not worth two bombs. Really should have played that four times. You never know what I could have gotten. More bombs, more keys, hundred cents. Colloquially known as a dollar in some parts of the world. Alright. Now I gotta really focus. We're in dire stray. Ah! Didn't want to collect all this money for nothing. Sadly, there appears to be no extra hearts on the screen. I dev I have not gotten a single health uh, recharge. <gasps> Did you hear me audibly gasp there? I very nearly died. Okay, this is easy enough. I can do this. These guys are not so bad. Oh, I, I didn't even realize that that part of him was still alive. Rolling in keys right now. Where the hell is a single heart power up? Well, I guess I'll have to beat the boss in order to get it. Vishmi luck. Come over 
here. We got one more room. Two keys. Could go see what I'm missing in the item room, but I don't want to do that. All right, so we're going to be fighting Steven. It's a pretty hard boss. Um, all things considered, I could easily take a shot on the chin from, from little Stevie. In fact, I'd probably get hit more often than not during this boss fight, but let's try to keep it, uh... Let me keep it clean here. Keep it good. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, that is so unfair! All right, well, we're only 20 minutes in. Let's give it one more try. <laughs> just, it'd be... Fuck, I already took some damage. It'd be just my luck uh, to actually have, like, a, an hour-long successful run now and make, like, a two-hour-long video. Oh, God. That was so stressful. Steven, why you gotta do me dirty like that? I thought we were partners. Not like that. Not like Steven and Chris. Any Canadian uh, watchers right now? <laughs> yeah, probably, considering the view count. Um, down here, another gusher, another key, a single half heart would be fine by me. I'm not trying to rhyme, but it's not a crime. I need to remember to pick up some time, because I'm making a pork tenderloin. Ah, fuck! Still no bombs. There's a tinted rock, so I would love to have a bomb. Tarot card? I was hoping it was the tower, but we'll use this anyway. Slot machine? Let's learn from our mistakes. We'll play this four times, or as many times as we can. Give me a single bomb, motherfucker. Come on! Okay, well, a key is better than nothing. And the cat is fine too, but please. More money. Probably not enough to buy anything from the shop. Missing out on mom's contact. That's a really great item. One penny in this fire. One penny. Oh my god, it worked! Picked up that spirit heart. Amazing. Also probably could have picked up that bomb instead and potentially gotten two spirit hearts, but considering the fact that every tinted rock I've blown up in like the last ten minutes has just contained a chest that required a key to unlock. I feel okay about this decision I've made. Go for the sure thing. Shoot the hostage. Blow up the tinted rock. Take it out of the equation. Well, down here, who are we gonna fight? Probably Famine, again. No, Duke of Flies, excellent. He's gonna die. We might as well call him the Duke of Dies, because <laughs> he's gonna die really quickly, probably, if I can manage to hit him here. Those are some big flies, man. Probably pregnant. It's pretty disgusting that you would send them out. That's some Red Army shit right there. HP upgrade! I would love to! Oops. I slipped. Right, again, no bombs, so I can't go- Whoa! Can't go down here and pick up this chest. But that's okay. We'll make it work. If I get to the cave as part two, I would consider this, this whole run a success. I mean, that's a big if still. Come, get out of... Give me back my shoes! You're a fly, they don't even fit. Ugh. I love that exasperated sigh I get after I dislike my own jokes. Try to take these guys out all at once, yeah. Better than having to deal with the bodies afterwards. Just ask my last girlfriend. <laughs> Alright, we'll fight the boss right away because Book of Belial's already charged. Famine again! Alright. Well, I think you know the drill here. I'll take one heart of stupid damage. As I already have. Hey, there's a tinted rock in here. Sadly, no means with which to get it. We gotta back the fuck up here before we fuck this track up. Drop a single bomb, I beg of you. Well, that spirit heart is worthwhile as well. I'm gonna actually stand here and shoot all this fire? I don't fucking think so. I get, you think the guy in the $4,000 suit is gonna stand here and shoot all the fire? Come on! Well, we will go up here to the left. I want a single bomb because there's a tinted rock in the... Oh god, they're flanking me. There's a tinted rock in the boss room. So even a tarot card for the tower would be fine. I mean, the tinted rock, historically speaking, probably doesn't have very much in it, considering what I've gotten from tinted rocks recently. But still, ah, half hard. Okay, well, it's a thought that counts game. More money would be good, too. I would love to be able to get to those uh, 
scattered pennies there, but sadly, I cannot. I would love to be able to go to the secret room. Oh, push the bomb! <laughs> Who knows where that could go? Hmm. Hmm, hmm. We'll come up here, top center. Double flies. This is a room I possibly could have used my Book of Belial on, but now it's already three quarters over, so why bother? Whoa! Bust open these poops. Okay. Tinted Rock. Quest for the bomb to open the Tinted Rock, I should say, is entering its 55th hour. I'll just do some strafing. Works fine for me. Can I just stand here and shoot you? This guy seems to think so. Well, again, do our diagonal shooting. This room's good for diagonal shooting practice. As you can see, I need it. Another chest that requires me to walk all the way down here. Come on. No bombs! What are you doing to me, Smalls? You're tearing me apart, Isaac! Grandfather flies. I swear to God, you better give me a bomb. What does this pill do? Is it bad gas? I'm gonna save it. Maybe I'll be able to use it. Maybe it's explosive diarrhea that seems to come up pretty frequently. Actually, let's use it right here. Aha! Uh -huh. We can pick up a key and that chest and the secret room. Well, there's lots of money there, so I'll go to the shop as well. And lots of money here, so we'll go back to the shop, potentially be able to buy a bomb in the shop, blow up the tinted rock in the boss room. Checkmate. Probably greed in here, right? No? But there is no bomb, but I can buy my own. Spirit heart. It's good, I don't need you anyway, boss room. You think you're so fucking smart. Probably a bad idea to hide bombs in the fire, right? I'm just gonna shoot like two or three of these. Sadly, nothing. Alright, here we go. Cave is part one. We're still alive. We got a decent amount of health. Book of Belial on this uh, double fly room because they're some of my least favorite enemies. Get, uh, get away from me! 20 cents left. Took some damn. Oh god. Oh god. This is bad. Okay, drop a bomb. That is pretty much the exact opposite, and you put it in a place where I couldn't even use it. Hopper damage? What is this, video 17? Twenty-eight minutes. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe I survived. Oh, now you give me a bomb. I see how it is. You blow the shit up out of these rocks. Pick up a single explosive diarrhea pill. Okay, well that's like two bombs. If I could actually use them effectively, which I probably will not be able to. That's okay, if I come across some tinted rocks, like two tinted rocks in the same room, I can make use of that. Now, do I want to go to the mob trap room? It's risky, but probably I do. Well, can't bother with it anyway. Okay, we will go to the boss room on our next journey, but, uh... Sadly, if it's Gertie, I might end up using explosive diarrhea against Gertie because Gertie tends to be a pain in the dick hole. Another nickel for us. Uh, little Chad, alright, that's okay. That means Book of Belial is gonna be. F oh my god! You're really hammering away at me here. Alright, Chad's gonna take 150 shots to kill, apparently. He's faster than me, which is a serious problem. Go, regular. Laser bullet flies. Kind of an oxymoron. How can a fly be both regular and laser bullet? Shut up, Velociraptor. Okay, get away from me. Chad, you're... you're killing me here, buddy. Stop getting smaller during the fight. It makes you faster as well. It scares the shit out of me. I don't want anything here. Satan, what could you possibly offer me? Technology, that's a really good item. Getting it would actually kill me, though, so... Forgive me, but I'm going to deny you. We will heads up here. Really lacing into those German Vs right now. 
I guess technically German W's. Apologies. It's my German speaking. Or German native viewers right now. And also hollow. I don't speak German at all, as you can probably tell. 31 cents. Probably more money than I'll ever be able to spend at the shop. Which is fine by me. I'll continue to pick up spirit arts and keys at cost. And finally got a single bomb. Who did I have to blow in order to make that happen? And yet another one. Okay, it's obviously the blowjob thing got people excited. Here we go. We'll buy a pill as well, which could do anything. Speed down. That's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Um, we will buy a key as well. Again, just because we have so much money that we, we probably won't see another shop. We're going to make it to the Caves Part 2, presumably. That's... Kind of remarkable, actually. I didn't think it was going to happen. Maybe we're going to make it to the caves part two. Alright, Gluttony, what do you want? Dealt with you a thousand times before, I can do it again. That was easy, and the chest contains bomb! A ah, single bomb, that's alright. Two possible locations of the secret room, one's here. So we will go there and blow up the slot machine because I don't want to waste my time. Forgot how important bombs were to me. Sadly, I've used two already to get four cents. But that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes in the Binding of Isaac. You know, I've got a lot of keys. Let's see what we're missing out on here on this floor. Guardian Angel. Really good item. Seems to be popping up a lot lately. Down, down, down. The Red Knight's going down. Caves Part 2. If we beat the boss on this floor, I will be fucking amazed. This could be the end of my room, right? Or the end of my life right here. Why are these guys not chasing me? I guess it's because I haven't moved yet on this room. Maybe they're like dogs. They, they see based on motion. I got incredibly lucky to not take four hits worth of damage there and die. I thought that was a, a foregone conclusion, to be honest with you. Just hit my little toe. Did damage. Book of Belial's not recharged yet. There is no escape. Dodging is useless. This could be the end right here. Suffice to say, I don't think I'm ready for a no items run. If we could actually get... Where are you going? Get into the dead zone! Go! We picked up an extra scent. Book of Belial's ready. Explosive Diarrhea's ready. That slot machine is just staring me in the face. Come play with us, Ryan. I'm falling for that. Ah, oh, God, get out of there! Gotta stop distracting myself with my nonsensical commentary. Now I've got no book of Belial, so I gotta be cool. Okay, we're gonna go for this one first. Duh! You scissored me! Well. Again, if you have any suggestions for challenge runs that might be more plausible than this one, please leave them in the comments. This has been my sixth death, fifth or sixth death. So total, complete and utter failure in my challenge to beat the game without using any items whatsoever. Thank you guys for watching my failure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nice little contrast to what happens usually. I'll see you next time.